Hello, this is Dr. Janish. This video is going to show percutaneous fixation of a scaphoid fracture. Here we're visualizing the scaphoid with intraoperative fluoroscopy and taking a look at the fracture right through the waist of the scaphoid. It is not as well highlighted here as it is in the office under regular plain film x-rays. Here I'm using a 14 gauge angiocatheter or IV catheter to locate the distal pole of the scaphoid. This allows me to leave the plastic portion of the IV catheter in place, remove the needle, and then place K-wire right down through the center of the IV catheter. I'll go ahead and drill the wire down through the scaphoid to a certain level, remove the plastic angiocatheter, and then finish advancing the wire down through the rest of the scaphoid. Here I'm going to visualize the placement of the wire using intraoperative fluoroscopy. You can see that the wire goes directly down through the axis of the scaphoid and this is checked in three different views. At this point I'll now make a small incision over the wire allowing entry of the rest of the drill bits and screw. This is a measuring device that actually helps us measure the length of the screw that we're going to be using. I confirm the position of the measuring device using the x-rays and uh, then start with the uh, cortical reaming device uh, that will start an opening allowing the screw and drill bit to pass through the first portion of the bone. This is the drill bit that makes a opening and pathway for the screw to travel down through the scaphoid. We also follow this on intraoperative fluoroscopy. You can see that the drill bit is just past the fracture. We'll remove the drill bit and this is the cannulated screw we'll be using. This is an Acumed Accutrac 2 screw. I'm using a ratcheted screwdriver to place the screw and continually check x-rays as the screw is going down through the scaphoid to ensure that it is in the appropriate position. Just now passing through the fracture site, advance the screw a little bit further. And now that the screw is seated nicely, we'll take some final pictures prior to pulling out the K-wire. The screw looks like it's in great position and we're now ready for the K-wire to come out. Now for some final pictures, I'll take pictures with the x-rays in three different planes, confirming the position of the screw and reduction of the scaphoid. Scaphoid looks excellent. The screw is right through the axis and in the final view you can actually see the hairline fracture here nicely reduced. A small bit of dermabond is all that's needed to seal this wound. This percutaneous procedure is very minimally invasive and a little bit of uh, local anesthetic at the end here helps with pain upon waking up. Place a thumb spike, a splint. And we'll see this patient back in the office in one week's time. Thanks for watching the percutaneous fixation of scaphoid fracture.